One of the most infamous questions in hip hop is who are the top five rappers dead or alive? Now, if you followed me or my work over the years, you know that quantifying hip hop is kind of my forte. In 2015, I created the project Rap Genius, where I attempted to imagine what it would look like if we could visualize lyrics and literary devices such as metaphors, alliterations, and similes, and see how they evolved over the use of an artist's discography and even comparing them between artists. I've also created data visualization projects like this one, where I explored the highest selling artists of all time and their individual albums. So it should be no surprise that I wanted to get to the bottom of this debate once and for all. So this all started about a year ago when I was walking my dog down the street and I made a connection to something entirely different. Back in the days of early search engines, young Larry Page was trying to solve a very similar problem. He was trying to determine what are the top websites for a given topic. His solution is both elegant and brilliant. What he would do is he would take a website and he would count how many other websites are pointing to it. And he figured the more websites that referenced it, the higher quality it must be. Larry called this algorithm PageRank, which is better known today as Google. On a side note, the name PageRank is actually a play off his last name, Larry Page and Web Pages bars. So I thought to myself, what if I took the page rank algorithm and applied it to every top five rappers list I could find, tallied up all the rappers and saw who is the most commonly cited rapper ending the debate once and for all. Now it goes without saying there's tons of philosophical challenges when it comes to quantifying opinion because after all, the only way you can measure opinion is by counting it. So I came up with a loose methodology to keep things as consistent and scientific as possible. Rule number one is professionals only. Today, everybody with a quality mic and a SoundCloud account is considered a rapper, so I only looked at the opinion of rappers that have at least one official album out. Rule number two is rappers only. I don't care if you're LeBron, Obama, or Oprah. If you don't rhyme for a living, your opinion doesn't count. Rule number three is probably the most controversial one, which is no generational discrimination. Rakim gets the same voting power as Russ. Now, before you guys crucify me saying that Rakim should be weighed much higher and his opinion counts way more than somebody who's new, that opens an entirely different new rabbit hole of how do you even determine who gets how much voting power. Now, if democracy is good enough for countries like the United States, I figured it's good enough for the sake of this experiment. And finally, rule number four is no self nominations. Now we all know hip hop is a very braggadocious genre, but all egos must be checked, no dialogues allowed. With these guidelines in hand, I set out to dig up as many YouTube interviews, blog, and magazine articles as possible where rappers answer the question, who is in your top five? After days and days of intense digging, I had documented 53 responses, which is all I could find at the time. I used my network analysis degree, which I just obtained from Wikipedia the weekend before specifically for this project. I meticulously mapped out all the rappers on the network graph, connected the citations between them, hit the red button, and produced this massive data visualization set that looked like this. Now, the most surprising part was that it wasn't that surprising. The same top five rappers list that circulated for the past two decades is pretty much what the data pointed to. At number one, we have Eminem with 32 citations. Now, what this basically means is that out of the 53 lists, 32 people had him listed somewhere in their top five. At number two, we have the Notorious B.I.G. with 30 citations. At number three, we have Jay with 29 citations. In fourth place is Tupac with 24 citations. And the fifth and final slot is for Nas with 18. Now, even though there were no major surprises, there were still some really interesting insights that I picked up on. For all the love that Andre Three Stacks gets online, only four rappers seem to think that he's top five material. Drake, Common, T.I., and Psy High to Prince. Out of the 53 MCs, only Russ thinks Drake belongs in the top five. Kanye West only got three mentions from Juice World, Common, and Russ. And he also tied with Kendrick, Snoop, and Cameron from Dipset, all with three mentions each. Shockingly, J. Cole, Drake, and DMX only got one mention apiece. And since this was asked before DMX's passing, RIP, I wonder if this was done today, if DMX would rank higher on people's lists. Big had a crazy impact considering he only put out two albums in his lifetime before he was taken from us too early. And Drake seems to think a guy named Young Tony is top five material. Now, apparently he's a rapper from Canada. I tried to find a picture, but I couldn't, I'm sorry. And here's the top 20 list for those that are curious. Now, in conclusion, this is nowhere near a perfect study and there's a lot of problematic areas. 
Beef between rappers means extreme bias and exclusion. For example, Ja Rule would never list 50 Cent in his top five list, and inversely, Drake would never leave Lil Wayne out of his for obvious reasons. Next up is duplicate lists. A lot of rappers have been asked who's your top five on multiple occasions, and every time they gave a different answer. Another problem is distinguishing between official and non-official lists. For example, on the Eminem show, the song Till I Collapse, Eminem famously states his top five rappers, but do you give that the same weight as an interview answer? Was he being serious or was he just expressing an artistic thought? Another problematic area is rap groups. And because they have multiple members, what do you do when somebody says Wu-Tang is in their top five? Do they mean every single member? Do you divide that vote equally? Another really curious thing I caught onto is that rappers from a previous generation had fewer MCs to pick in their top five lists, right? At one point in time, there was only a thousand rappers in the United country. Fast forward to today, we have 100 million billion rappers. So if somebody gets picked in the top five list today, does that mean that they should be weighed more because the competition is so much more fierce? Moving on to maybe the most obvious one, and that is imperfect data. I mean, I tried to find every single top five rappers list on the internet that I could, and believe me, I tried, but I'm sure there's tons of them that I missed. So if new lists came up, would that change the rankings? Possibly, although I suspect it wouldn't be very significant. But perhaps the most interesting insight to me personally is that the very concept of a top five list seems to be diminishing in importance. As I was trying to find answers from younger acts like NBA Youngboy or Trippy Red, I noticed that interviewers themselves are not really asking that question. It doesn't really matter as much anymore. It seems like the younger generation isn't taking pride in the craftsmanship of rap. They're not really that competitive in terms of disses or battle rapping. They're more interested in lifestyle and Instagram. My guess is is the crossbreeding of hip hop with different genres has kind of diminished the competitive spirit. And instead of a top five list, now everybody is referred to as a GOAT and everybody seems to be the greatest. It's almost like a participation trophy where everybody's a GOAT these days. And that to me feels very counterintuitive to what hip hop once was. Now, for those that are interested, the graph is fully interactive. The link to my study is down below in the description. I wanna to thank to all the blogs that shared my work. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing, liking, subscribing, and the whole nine. I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments, and until next time.